Okay, so we're moving on to derivatives of trigonometric functions, which I'll just call trig. Um, if we have time, we'll do the proofs, but at this stage, we'll just I'll just give you the results. So we're going to start off with just the basic functions, sine x, cos x, and tan x. So these are called trigonometric functions. Uh, they're periodic functions, and for the purposes to make it easier, I'll just give you the answers. The derivative, if the function sine, the derivative is cos. If the function is cos, the derivative is minus sine, and if the if the function is tan, the derivative is sec squared. Now, just just in case you've forgotten, okay, get my pen working. Uh, sec is one, the same as one over cos. Okay, right up. Uh, but of course, you don't get easy, straightforward functions. You get sine of functions like sine two x and things like that, or sine x squared. So the derivative, uh, just all you have to do is uh, just put the derivative of the function out the front, okay? And then it's just still, it just, uh, the function doesn't change after that. So if it's sine fx, it's f dash x cos fx, because if sine, sine just keeps turning to cos each time, so it'll still turn into cos, but you just put the derivative out the front. So can you copy down those six formulas, and then we'll look at some uh, uh, examples, okay? Moving across, next page. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Find the derivative if y equals cos 2x. So this is this is your function. So fx equals 2x. So f dash x equals 2. So y equals... Now, cos turns into minus sine, so it's going to be minus 2 sine 2x. And from there... Obviously, we can get values given to us for x and then find the gradient of the tangent and then find equations of the tangent and things like that. All right, so copy that down and let's move across. <laughs> okay, so just to remind you about exact values. Now, angles can be given as degrees, but more often as not, they're given in radians. And again, this has been done before, but you might need to copy this table down. So... Uh, just remember, pi is the same as 180, so 180 over 6 is the same as 30, 180 over 4 is 45, 180 over, oh, it should be a 3, 180 over 3 is 60, 180 over 2 is 90. Okay, so they're the angles in the first quadrant, okay? Um, we say first quadrant answers are between 0 and 90. And then we've got other quadrants of the unit circle, which are on the next slide that you'll see. So again, you've got a either memorize them or you'll have them on your cheat sheet. Um, obviously, you can put sine 30 on your calculator and get 0.5, and cos of 60 is 0.5. But these other ones, these are exact values, thirds, and so you'll get decimals on your calculator. Um, so either copy, th so copy them down now for the purposes for the rest of the video, but otherwise it will be something for your cheat sheet or to memorize them. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Once you've learnt this group of numbers this way, then cos is the same group of numbers that way. And to get tan, you just divide. Tan is the same as sine over cos. So one over root two divided by th root three on two uh, is one on root three. One on root two divided by one on root two is one. Root three on two divided by, root three on two on over two divided by half is root three. Uh, zero, uh, 0 divided by 1 is 0, 1 divided by 0 is undefined. Now the reason this is undefined is because uh, it's a tangent and you can't get a tangent of a vertical line. Okay, so copy that and come across. So, just reminding about the unit circle. Uh, so this is called the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant. And this last one's called the fourth quadrant. And then you can get multiple, you can go into the fifth, like this is also the fifth quadrant if you're doing a second lap, but let's, for the purposes of this, we'll just stay in the first quadrant. So the angles in the first quadrant are theta. In the second, they're pi minus theta. In the third quadrant, they're pi plus theta. And in the last quadrant, they're two pi minus. Now, how do you use those pi minus and pi plus? Okay, so for instance, if I want sine of two pi on three, which is gonna be, okay, so pi on three, is it's bigger than pi on 2. Okay, so you're in the second quadrant. So the angles are going to be pi minus theta to be equivalent. So the answer is, so pi minus theta equals 2 pi on 3. Okay, 
in the second quadrant with pi minus theta and equals that number and move the theta across and move the pi back and so theta equals pi uh, minus 2 pi on 3 so the equivalent angle the equivalent angle of 2 pi on 3 is pi on 3 and sine is positive so sine 2 pi on 3 is the same as sine of pi on 3 and then from sine pi on 3 you use your calculator uh, calculate your table and so you can get the exact values okay so for instance this one sine pi on 4 that's bigger than pi which means that we're in this quadrant pi plus so we're setting up a little equation so we've got pi plus theta equals 5 pi on 4 and then just take the theta across uh, pi across because theta is positive so 5 pi on 4 minus pi it's just pi on 4. So sine of uh, tan of 5 pi on 4 is the same as tan of pi on 4, and tan is positive, so it stays as a positive. So you just got to watch your, these are all the positive things, and if they're not positive, they're negative. And then once you've got tan of pi on 4, then you go to the table of values for tan and get your number. Okay. Can you copy that and then come across when you're ready? Okay, so here's an example of how to use the exact values. Okay, so I've drawn from Desmos 2 pi on 3, and the x values are in radians, not in angles. So for instance, it uh, starts at 0, and it's gonna, that value there is going to actually be pi, which is 3.14 radians. Okay, so they don't actually put pi's and pi's and 4's and stuff, they actually use numbers. So this number here is 3.14 because that's what pi would be. Okay, so we're looking for an equation of a tangent uh, at a certain value, so pi on 6, you know, somewhere over here perhaps, and we're looking for the equation of a tangent. So the first thing we do is we find the derivative. So sine turns into cos, but we've got to multiply by the derivative, so it's going to be 2 cos 2x. So that's the equation that gives us the derivative at any point. And so at the point we want, which is pi on 6, y dash equals 2 times cos 2 times pi on 6, which is 2 times cos. Now, 2 times 2 into 6 goes 3, so it's cos of pi on 3. Now, again, pi on 3 for cos is a half, so it's 2 times a half, so the gradient is 1. Okay. So, in terms of y equals mx plus b, we've got m, we've got x, we need to find y, and then we find b later. So, at x equals pi on 6, y equals sine of pi 2, sorry, cross that out, sine of 2 times pi on 6, which is sine of pi on 3, which is root 3 on 2 from the table, okay? So now we go, we've got y equals mx plus b, so root 3 on 2 equals m, which is 1, that value there, times x, which is pi on 6, plus b, so b equals root 3 on 2 minus pi on 6, now that's a number, okay? It has a value. And the equation of the tangent equals y equals mx plus b. And then you don't have to put the 1 in, but I, le I left it there. So that's the equation of the tangent. Okay, so there'll be some exercises uh, straight from the textbook um, that will get given in class time. And I think that's the last slide. So thanks for that. See you in, see you in the class.